You can wash them over. Oh, yeah. Let me see. That's on the outside of one of them. Can we get inside? Man, they should cover everything.
just find out. Oh man, this is a closely plastic or what? See through the plastic is too thick. Maybe I cut some. See them? Oh, they put it on in your medicine and your and your food. They love putting it in your underwear and, and watching your private parts because this is a, a photographic trojan. It's called aluminum, or they they prefer to call it uh, weapons. They just call it weapons. And uh, well, it. Uh, can see you from every angle it can project sound from any angle so it sounds like something's coming from an area it's not uh, it records everything you can see you under the blanket under the sheets uh, usually they, they make fun of you like when they're watching you fart because they can they put so many around you that it's obvious and what's going on and I mean I don't know it's, it's pretty corrosive and it's definitely been tearing up it, feels like something's eating me alive, like it tears up my skin, uh, it puts holes in my clothes and breaks my components, but slowly, and I didn't know what was going on until one of their 
whistleblowers uh, informed me how to detect it and what was going on and the capabilities and and they were gonna kill me I didn't know that they were just doing tests on me to, and once they were done playing around with this they were gonna use it or they're still planning to use it against the entire population and uh, this is the biggest threat to uh, the country and and the planet and humanity and our species uh, that exists right now the biggest threat to life and will obliterate privacy it will enslave the humanity and I, I've uh, reason to believe there may have already been murders during this development of this technology It was uh, supposedly developed in Colorado. So, that's a rumor to be called the brain. They use something called a modulator for the viewing and manipulation. But these pieces itself, and they said there's hundreds of thousands just in this, and they keep adding more, and they can follow you around, and all oh, they're taking over your hospitals, and is well, at least that's their plan. And in prisons, and, and and then the government. After that, it's it's on their agenda. I was told. I, I even heard they're negotiating with various, uh, especially hostile foreign countries, uh, that may be a threat to America already, because they are the most interested and in, in might be willing to pay them the most, and they will sell us out. Uh, they don't care about this country or your privacy or your life or anything they just care about and it's this might be uh, the the fall of man if this doesn't stop immediately Definitely, they mentioned they capable of possibly killing somebody remotely. They're experimenting with this, but I believe their tests are done. And I don't know how far along they are in the launch, but it might be too late. They've been mostly testing it on homeless people that they pick up at Dorchester and, and Springs Rescue Mission uh, in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And especially ones that their family won't miss them. And that's their favorite people to um, recruit, like pretend they're going to help them. And some of them are missing, and I God, I hope they turn up. But. Uh, I'm worried about a couple people that were missing for a couple months that I know were involved in being around people use, using this technology. I, I heard rumors that they're cashing disability checks on the people that they um, make sure nobody's, they basically watch everything they do for 24 hours a day to see if they'd be missed or not and if they're past online verification for disability.